Today we are going to simplify the equation 2 to the 0th power times 3 to the negative 2 power times 4 to the negative 1 power. And that's all over 4 times 5 to the negative 2 power times 3 to the negative 2 power. Okay, what well first we're going to do is we're going to take these values with negative exponents and we are going to put them on the other side of the bar here. And what this is going to end up being is 2 to the 0th power times 5 squared times 3 squared. And that's still going to be over 4. This is the power 1 times 4. This is the power 1 times 3 squared. And these 3 squares are on both sides which means we can cancel them out. They don't need to be there. So now over here, this is our now the rest of our equation. And we're going to do out the process of combining these two right here. And what we're going to do by doing that, we can add the exponents. And they both have an exponent of 1, which means that there's now going to have an exponent of 2. So the new equation will be 2 to the 0th power times 5 squared over 4 to the second power. And now we can do about really going through the exponent. We're going to do 5 squared, and we're going to do 2 to the 0th power, and we're going to do 4 squared. Okay, so 2 to the 0th power equals 1. So we have 1 times 5 to the second right here, and that equals 25. And that's going to be over 4 squared, which is equal to 16. And now we're going to do this because 1 times 25 is equal to 25. So we can just get rid of that and do 25 over 16 as our final equation here. Thank you.